Most people want to enter the grave having experienced a long and fruitful life, avoiding as much trauma as possible. We're naturally danger adverse. Even in the church, we rally around sentiments like, the center of God's will is the safest place to be. But what about those trapped in spiritual and physical danger who need someone to come to their aid? What about all the scriptures calling us to sacrificially move towards the hurting? What about Christ's words? If any of you wants to be my follower, you must give up your own way, take up your cross, and follow me. As we balance our instincts to preserve our lives with Jesus' call to take up our cross, three reminders serve us well. First, we all die. It's inevitable. In Christ, we need not fear it. The best is ahead. The question is, am I trying to prevent something I should stand ready for? Number two, Jesus gave his life. He laid his down for us. He modeled selfless living. We must ask ourselves, have I fully accepted the grace and example left by the Savior? Number three, he calls us to follow, to walk his path, to reflect his character, to pursue what he said is important. It would be good for us to ask, Am I following the one who lived to rescue those in danger? While we're not called to be reckless, we are invited to lay our lives down for the lost, the poor, the hurting. Never forget, our Savior is seeking to reach our world through those willing to enter the danger. <laughs>